welcome back. <laughs> we got Remy Cam on deck. Welcome back to another episode of the Eras family. That felt like Adam's family somehow. Fanny Page, Queen Anne, Aaron with a Y, Gruber Magic Girl, Michelle Co, Nostalgic Miss, and Miss A. It's Chris, or it's Riss A. Thank you guys so much for resubbing. And uh, Gudetama, thank you so much for sending those five, 10, 15 gobbles. Uh, I don't think I'm saying your name right, but I apologize. I appreciate you anyway. Uh, you've been my favorite YouTuber for four years. Thank you, Anne. What world is that? This is Chestnut Ridge. It's from the horses, horse ranch pack. The horse ranch expansion. We're back here. This It made the most sense for the debut era. Um, but we're finishing up the debut era, I think, in this episode. So debut will be over after this episode. It's the final episode of debut. And then we'll be on to the fearless era, which I'm so excited about. I believe she ages up into a teen, maybe in the next? I don't think in this episode, but maybe in the next one. She aged up into a kid last time, the fearless era girl, which her name is Juliet. If you guys don't know, that you know. Um... So yeah, what hashtag should we be using the gallery if we want to make Sims for Juliet to be friends with? Ooh, use Kelsey hashtag eras challenge. Kel Kelsey hashtag eras challenge, I think is the best one. So here's Juliet eras. Yeah, you guys should be making um, friends, lovers, companions. I'll go over her like her um, full requirements later, but um, she is mainly going to be again again wow. good job uh she's going to be a um like serial romantic i believe is her whole story so she's gonna have a lot of love stories and uh, a lot of breakups so i need a lot of different types of sims okay and this is her mom mary eras who in this episode will be meeting the next love of her life her first husband uh kind of cheated and also ooh, why am i zooming like that there we go of her first husband kind of cheated and also they got into huge fights and they were just really toxic so we kicked him to the curb and then he came back uh like really late at night and passed down on the floor um and made a bunch of food and left it was really weird so he's out of our life now but he's hung out with our kids a couple times speaking of kids we have another kid his name is steven hey steven he's our older brother of our next gen um and uh, we need to finish up his social butterfly requirement in order to move on to the next era of our ch era's challenge. Say that a lot of times. Um, so yeah, how long do I play for? Maddie, I play for about two hours every stream. So I'll be probably playing until, uh, until around 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So that's about in an hour and 20, 30 minutes, kind of. I think an hour and 30 minutes. Uh, and expect for my brother to tune in towards the end because he tends to it's we have book club after this uh and he tends to come and try to try to shepherd me off it's new year's eve in the sims today and uh they're we're all going to bed at 7 a.m so it's a little early for new year's eve oh and our fearless girly has asked our mom a question i got a present that i think is dumb i want to trade it for a, um i want to trade it with a friend or give it back can i do that the present was for you, so you should be grateful. Okay, we gotta, yeah, you you gotta have some good good old fashioned values here. Now clean up. Mary is gonna go use the toilet. She needs to. So in the last episode, Stephen uh, started riding horses and making new friends, specifically and a new adult friend. Uh, his new adult bestie is named Drew. Let's let's look at Drew. This is um, Drew. He is. The backstory of Drew is that he's like the high school lover boy of our main character, Mary. Um, that and she wrote teardrops on my guitar about him. And they, um, sorry, the tea was hot. So I had to drink some water. <clears throat> also, we, I think there might be some thirsty people um, thinking about Drew here. Um, so... So they were like kind of, She, he was like her first big crush, but he never knew and he was dating everyone at the time. So nothing ever happened from it. She's gotten married. She's lived her life. You know, she's become a, a third, like a three-star celebrity. Okay. She's like very important. Uh, but now, but he is a like riding coach and he's been training her son to ride his horse, Teardrop, which he named after the song, Teardrops on My Guitar. Look at this 
some invisible string stuff happening here. Um, and so, uh, but Mary hasn't met him yet. So in this episode, Mary's going to meet, finally oh. meet her son's new friend. Her son also needs to meet, make a friend with two other children and one other adult. <laughs> and Juliet needs to play with some toys. So Juliet, why don't you play with some toys? Are, do you have any toys in your inventory? You do. Oh. All right, Remy, another one. Whoop! Get it! Good job. <laughs> Big brain energy with teardrop. That was the audience. The chat did that. I did not do that. Get it. Bop. Good job. I hope when Speak Now Baby is named Emma after when Emma falls in love. Oh my gosh, that would be a really good name for Speak Now Baby. Get it. Get it, Ruby. Oh, it's right there. Ruby. Okay, he left the building. He's like, I'm out. He left his ball and everything. Wild. He must have heard something in the other room. We're going to pause the Chewy cam until a doggy comes back. <clears throat> Can we explain the challenge? It is a 10 generation challenge where each generation is themed after a different Taylor Swift album. Um, it's themed after the albums. It's not themed after Taylor Swift's life necessarily. It's themed after the music. So I reference the music a lot and all the characters kind of like inspired by characters in her songs. Um, but it is not reflective of her life whatsoever. <clears throat> if they're interested in the rules, I think uh, they were on TikTok, so go look, check them out. Oh, he's back. He's back. Our boy has returned. Remy. Remy has returned, and he has found the ball. Did you lose the ball for a second, Remy? There you go. Caught it again. Okay, so it's New Year's. We, I think we should be maybe going to bed. Do we have work today? Okay, we don't have class today because it's a Saturday. We have work in six hours. Do we not? Do we not like take work off? No, we have a day of off of work. Okay, so maybe we should like relax, take it easy, make some breakfast, like get some leftovers. You know, Juliet, why don't you kind of go take a nice little shower? Okay, she doesn't really need one, but I'm kind of trying to get. Oh my gosh, poor Steven. He was the one that like we really kind of made um do the most yesterday. He had like a ton to do. Um, because he was the one that was like hanging out with the dude all day. So we're we're gonna have Steven go grab some food. Steven go grab some food. And then he we're gonna take care of all Steven name. And then as a family we might go out to a bar or something and maybe like meet some or like a park somewhere where we can meet other kids for Steven, but also where we can meet his instructor for mom. Purple. This kid's name is Steven and her name is Juliet. Juliet is the heir. So she's going to be the fearless era uh, heir for the challenge. <clears throat> Juliet is going to be a heartbreaker. She's so beautiful. She is going to be a heartbreaker. Remy. Okay. Good job, Remy. All right. We've cleaned up our... Food here. Steven's getting his food on. We're gonna use the toilet after our sister gets out of the bath. Um, maybe you could like, I don't know, watch watch some TV or something. Steve, or actually, you could do your homework. What kind of student are you? You're a C student. Yeah, maybe you should do your homework. Steven's gonna go use the bathroom once he's done with this, and then take a little shower. And mom, how are you doing? Mom's needs are perfect. So mom's gonna, oh, are you gonna help your daughter with her homework? Cause that'd be really sweet. Why don't you help with homework? Steven's taking care of his meds and Mary's cleaning up after her kids. Such a good mom. Look at this beautiful snowy day outside. It's so cute. Oh, so cute. Hi, Remy, you're being so patient. Oh, oh, God, get it. Good job. He is nonstop. He's, this has been what? We've been streaming for 30, 38 minutes and he's, oh, he's still wanting to play. <sighs> Normally if he plays like full fetch, he'll get worn out. But right now we're just tossing the ball around. So it's not quite the same level. Steven, how you doing? He's taking his nice little bath. Look at him. It's so cute. I wanted to see his like, his missing teeth because he's got a couple missing teeth 
mom's helping mom. daughter with homework. We love to see it. Chill he says, pets. no pets, only Goodness. ball. Wow. Ants, thank you so much for tuning oh in. First gen husband there, nearly man. died of mortification, but debut gen Run saved him. Smash. Oh my gosh, that's wild. Can you do an updated version of the 100 Baby Challenge with infants? Oh my gosh, I have amazing nudes for you. Nudes. I have amazing news. News for you, Maddie. I already have started that. If you want to check it out on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Kelsey Dangerous. I've already started a new 100 Infant Challenge. It started almost a year ago. Um, so you have so many episodes to catch up on. You should check it out. It is so much fun. Uh, it's been great. So definitely go check it out and subscribe to my YouTube channel channel if you haven't already <laughs> so you do not miss any of my fun new challenges and videos wow good job Rini. uh my 1989 sim boyfriend died in a fire i love all the tea you guys are giving me this is so fun uh happy birthday chewy also i can't believe it's been 30 months who knew oh who's the new pup the new pup is a friend's dog Sweet Kiwi, Sweet. thank you so much for 30 months. I appreciate that. Oh my goodness. We've got so much going on that I haven't even seen that we need to take a deep breath. So Alicia, official 22. Thank you so much for requesting a deep breath. Okay, that was like a really loud noise. So we're going to take a deep breath in. Hold it. And let it out. Feels good. That felt good. Oh my goodness, Remy! Remy in his ball! Remy in the ball! That's a good catch! Good job! The kids are having such a cute little combo, and Mary's playing some music, doing something. I don't know. Okay, Mary, why don't you make a resolution since you love making resolutions? Let's have yours be get a significant other. <laughs> um, and then do kids make the. Oh my god! This is perfect. Drew Debut is wondering if I want to go over to his house and hang out at Canyon Crossing. He's like, I'm having a little hang. I wanted to say thank you for all your hard work being a horse riding student of mine. Why don't you and your mom and sister come on over to my house and hang out? Now he doesn't have any furniture in his house. Okay, I don't know why the Sims do that. So let's all Pretend, okay? We gotta pretend that this is normal, that he has no furniture in his house because we're going over to his house. But the game knew, guys. The game knew we wanted to meet Drew Debut. It's not really helping our son uh, finish up his requirements, but whatever, that's tomorrow's problem, okay? Today is a holiday. So we're gonna bring Mary. We're gonna bring, not Ryder, okay? I can't believe his last name still Eras. He kept my name, whatever. We're gonna bring Mary and Juliet and we're gonna go, actually, there's some other people. Maybe we'll bring someone else. Who looks like our closest friend? Santa. It would be hilarious if he bonded with Santa. I'm gonna go, yeah, I'm gonna go Santa. Santa's coming too. He's got a time off. It's New Year's, baby. Good opportunity for some canoodling. You're exactly right, Flame Fox. He just moved, so he's working on it. Queen Anne, that's a perfect description. Yeah, he just moved into the town. He's just starting, and Santa's here. And a horse. This is a fun little group. <laughs> So, um, I'm gonna have you try to befriend Santa. So, I'm gonna just like really quick have all these like friendship things. Tell a joke about horse butts, share a bunch of detailed horse facts, goof around. He's gonna talk just to Santa and. Hello? <laughs> Look who just. Remy just fully opened my door and I was like, oh my God, is someone getting in my room? And I had like a panic attack. <laughs> no, it was Remy bringing his toy. <laughs> this is so funny, guys. Oh my God, look at this. I can't. It's so cute. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Remy, Remy. <laughs> he says, Chat, will you play with my pen with my toy, please? You, you are crazy. You crazy dog. You crazy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's so good. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, come here. Come here. Come here. Okay, wait. 
Twitch can't see what's happening. Or TikTok can't. Hold on. You need to go TikTok. This is the giant stuffed animal that is, oh my God. <laughs> you are so strong, Remy. You rip my arm off. <laughs> that big smile, it is a sloth. That is a sloth. You had a hamster named Remy? That's so cute. Yeah, he is the sweetest dog. Oh my gosh. Hi, sweetie. Thank you for bringing your toy in here. Chewy still not, still watching Parks and Rec in the other room. Okay. It's his birthday. He gets to do what he wants. Hi, Remy. Thank you. Remy is such a cheese. He's like, yeah, I want to come in and hang out with you guys. Wow, Remy. Such a, such a little little star here a little stream star look at you go <laughs> look at that smile oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness come here Remy. get him get him get him get him get him <laughs> thank you for bringing fuzzy baby that's the name of the the sloth oh my gosh our mary needs a slamming screen door on her house for our song oh my gosh so true i don't think are there screen doors in the sims let me know we can maybe make that happen i love how he just puts it under the <laughs> under the camera every time it's so cute all right let's get back to stream <laughs> get to the game okay i really want to know i want to meet this man okay we got a oh, hug a fan is he a fan of ours no it just that's just her okay Let's do like a, should we do a flirty introduction? No, we're just gonna do a friendly introduction. Okay, be like, hello, and the and she can talk to the horse. Okay, this child is gonna try to like meet Santa. But she's, oh my God, why are they so close together? Look at these two. They immediately got so close next to each other. Oh my gosh. Remy, are you seeing this? Oh, Remy knocked, <laughs> Remy knocked over you guys because he was so excited to share his toy with you oh my goodness that is the key oh my gosh okay come here come here okay can you drop it can you drop it okay all right ready catch oh good catch okay bye bye <laughs> he just left the room with it oh my god so cute okay okay so let's talk with him like maybe we'll just share some near your spirit juliet just became friends with teardrop give him a little near you toast they're at a nears party you know talk about toys i mean he's santa it makes sense to talk about toys with him um wait don't don't cap tell him a knock knock joke like why is this man going away from us Hello? Tell him like a, a nice little joke. Okay. We are, oh, maybe we should sing to him about New Year's Eve. She also wants to kiss someone and um, kissing him at midnight who? I'm just saying. Why is Santa there though? I don't know. So I just thought he would be friends with Steve. Wait, did Santa just leave? Wait a second. Where did Santa go? That was supposed to be your new friend. Oh. Santa, get your butt back here. She is kind of just, he's very impressed with her singing. Okay. These two are getting along. Why is Santa not coming over? Santa, we're gonna talk to the horse and give him nice neck scratchies. And Santa's here again, thank goodness. We're trying to become besties with Santa. I don't know why. I just thought it would be funny. <laughs> we have to become friends for the requirement. Like, why not be friends with Santa? I feel like I, if I were a child, I also would try to become friends with Santa. Just what I would do. Compliment his outfit. Why is their friendship not going up very well? I don't know. They should be going. Hey. <laughs> Are they like gonna be okay? Maybe you should like you know give him like a little flirt or like compliment his appearance. Be like, oh, you look really nice. Are these two friends yet? Oh, she found out Drew is loyal. Mm, girls, very, very uh, 
important thing to find out about a guy. Just saying. Talk about your dreams. Friendly, like, compliment his outfit again. He seems interested. Okay. Things are going well. These two are kind of getting along. I kind of want their friendship. Oh, my God. He's uncomfortable. He's going to freeze. No wonder he's like... Bro, change your outfit. Change your outfit to a cold weather outfit. Why are you like this? Don't freeze to death. I, th I feel like no wonder he's like not, not talking to us. Jeez. Okay, he's officially friends with Santa. He's officially friends with Santa. Santa, you can leave now. I don't need you anymore. Okay, bye. We just need to become friends with two other children. This is amazing. Knowing Kelsey, they'll have a kid together. Well, she already has two kids, but their kids would look cute, so, you know, it's all good. Uh, rave about favorite singers. I feel like they're, cause, cause she knows him, right? Like in our backstory, they've met before. So she should be like, oh my God. You know, like, how have you been? Have a deep conversation with him. Tell him some jokes, you know, like. Simone Asks Ask to cowpoke cow dance. That seems pretty aggressive. Maybe like give him like a nice oh warm up with body heat. Okay. Ah! I mean we we definitely don't have more room for kids. In the In the um oh my gosh, man. Oh my gosh, guys. Remy is back in the room. Why is Chewie barking at the door? And Remy's back in the room. Look at that happy boy. Fred he has brought me not Fred one Fred. ball, uh -huh. but two. He has brought every ball that he can find in the house because he really wants to play. Yeah. <laughs> Remy and me, Kelsey, so working. Chewie boy. Okay. <laughs> Good catching. I've been trying to do homework for school, but the last few assignments have felt really hard. Maybe I'm not smart enough to do it. What do you think? Um, spend some time. You are smart enough, uh, Steven. Don't worry about that. Okay. How is it? How are we doing with him? Okay, Drew, Deb, you and her are getting along pretty well. Okay, slowly but surely. For me, Debut nearly died. Oh, no. What happened to her husband, though? We kicked him out. He was not worth it. We had drama. He was just another picture to burn, okay? That's all I'm saying about that. So we're gonna throw some New Year's Eve confetti. Oh my gosh. We're gonna spin our New Year's Eve noisemaker. We're gonna hold some hands. Hold some hands? Maybe it was just, you know, kind of warm. Okay, we're gonna maybe give him a little embrace. Steven, do you wanna play with your sister? Oh wow, she made a mess as usual. Can we, can we play together? Friendly, give her a pep talk. Okay, we need to become friends with more children. Does he know any more children to invite? No. Okay, we need to meet more children. We need to meet two more children. But it's not about that, it's about this. Okay, and how these two are having an awkward encounter because Santa's involving himself. Santa, you can leave now. Okay, you can just go. Get out, Santa. Like, you should just leave. Bye, Santa. Bye, 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 bye. We don't need you anymore. Thank you. Maybe they're going to exchange numbers. Be like, wow, well, I really need your number to, like, make sure to schedule another, uh, you know, training session for my son. Obviously. <laughs> so good. Uh, he can meet kids at school. He can, but he hasn't for some reason. I don't know if it's like glitched right now. Maybe it's my mods, but it's not really working. Oh my God. The horse is just put up, put up, put up. Play make believe. That's cute. Oh my gosh. These two hugging. Hello. Okay. Tell him an unbelievable story. Express your admiration. Uh, brighten his day. <laughs> Maybe like I don't know. 
Befite Grino. Talk about Burst. cooking. Oh. What are you doing? Okay, Steven's also making a mess. Why don't you try to mount the horse again? Who you like? You really like that horse? Try to go mount it, I guess. And he's just gonna do his own thing. You know, he's he's got his own his own stuff to do here. Oh, that's cute. Okay, can you like go for a little ra relaxed ride? Mary's having a good time. Oh my god, they can have a first kiss. No, we gotta wait for the first kiss. But he's very into her. Oh, and he needs to pee. Oh my gosh, and this girl's riding too. Mariah Watson. Okay. Well, um, this was so fun, Drew. But we're gonna like skadoodle. But maybe we'll like circle back and meet up with you around midnight for that kiss. Maybe. Yeah, sounds good. So Mary's gonna head out. Um, hand feed the horse. His hunger is low. We're gonna head out, so the hunger, the horse will be taken care of. Oh. She wants to whisper to him seductively. Girl! Okay. Okay, girl. All right, we're heading out. Bye-bye. Bye, horses. I can't wait to build Jellyette's little castle. Oh my gosh, Pamela, Mama of One, you're so brilliant. Yes, of course. We're going to build a tiny little castle for Juliet. It's going to be so cute. Ah! But also, I feel like Speak Now could also have a castle. We could just do two different castles. Maybe they'd be in two different styles of castle, you know? You've watched me forever. Thanks, Alexis. I'm like, what happened to Knox? You're going to have to watch the previous episodes because they were so good. They're on my second channel, um, youtube.com slash Kelsey, more Kelsey and PGK. So worth a good watch. <laughs> Remy just keeps dropping, picking up and dropping his ball. Like, let's go. Let's go. Let's do this thing. There's like a playground at Duke's Hall, but I kind of want to go somewhere that's specifically for kids. So maybe we'll go to Willow's Creek and play in the playground there. Did they have any kid stuff? I'm trying to remember. I know the one in Oasis Springs has kid stuff for sure, for sure. I kind of always end up going there. Hi. Hi, do you need to play with Buddy Baby? We absolutely should do two different castles. Remy is like, must play. I know. Remy cannot stop. <laughs> Chewy is Sleepy Bubby and Remy is Play Bubby. And <laughs> that is their vibe. Oh my God. <laughs> but we're taking good care. We're taking good care. Chewy is actually sitting in the hallway. There's an update. I think he wants to be kind of close to us, but like not too close. <laughs> Because he's like, he likes to watch the door to the house. Yeah, there's a pirate ship there, I think. Okay, perfect. Oh, wait, there's a pirate ship in this the Willow Creek. Okay, let's go with the pirate ship then. That one sounds fun. Or wait, isn't there one, a good one in... um? Where is that? Mount Comoraby has a good one, right? I don't remember. Um, I feel like when you play a legacy challenge, something problem, uh, something problematic happens. Something problematic happens. Oh my gosh. That sounds intense. I don't feel that way, but you know, I do love drama. So we like to have drama happen in the Sims. I hope I'm not doing anything that is, you know, upsetting anyone. Uh, okay. Windenburg. There's a playground with a ball pen. Okay. Let's just do the Oasis Springs one. I know for sure that one has like the little... I don't know where the pirate ship is. I want to learn it, but I, I'm like, ah. Remy just yelled at me. He went, ar, ar, ar. <laughs> Remy, really? Don't pretend like I'm not taking care of you. Don't you dare go back with bad review, okay? I need a four star Yelp, okay? Of your stay here. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh he's so he's so sweet pamela mama one you're doing amazing sweetie thank you so much for tuning in court of bubbles thank you so much for taking oh my god a fan just freaked out taking a deep breath with us i'm gonna do that really quick let's have our kids play space explorer together um oh my gosh uh let's take a deep breath let's take a remy you could maybe take a deep breath too okay let's take a deep breath let's uh let one out first so let it all out. Okay. 
and then take a deep breath in. Hold it for a second. And let it all out again. <laughs> that felt good. That felt good. Hey, this comment, you're doing amazing, sweetie. Thank you so much for tuning in. Gabby, thank you so much for the rose and the bear. And Novelty Staten, thank you so much for the six roses. You are so kind. This is so sweet of you. Wait, where did Steven go? Okay, he's on here. Yes, more kids. Let's see, it always attracts more kids. Jacqueline McPherson, let's do Bre Brenna Robles. Let's go introduce ourselves to Brenna. We'll play as Steven. Everybody else, it's not your show right now, okay? Well, Drew Debut is texting me like, I'm glad that you became friends with Santa. I'm really proud of you, bro. They are really actually good friends, which is so cute. Like he's like really good friends with the, you know, you know, they always say friends first, right? With relationships, but they, what they don't say is that you should be friends with their children first. <laughs> but you know what? Maybe now they will after this. What's the hashtag? The hashtag is Kelsey, uh, hashtag Kelsey, uh, I think it's Kelsey Eras Challenge or Kelsey Eras, one of those two. Um, so Zen, yes, we all needed that, truly. Love this redeem. When is your not ne next Not So Berry video? I believe it will be up this Saturday. So lots of uh, fun to uh, get excited about. Oh my gosh, look at this child talking to a fan of her mom's and then Mary is just, uh, oh, going to go talk to her child. That's cute. He's gonna share some detailed or horse facts, talk about his favorite ha animal, which is horses. He is such a horse boy. He love horse. Horses are his favorite. We gotta keep talking until we become best friends. But this is the end of it. So once we finish this, we're done. So he just needs to finish these two more friendships because he's a little social butterfly. Oh, don't argue, don't argue. Oh my gosh, no, I wanna be best. Discuss interests. What kind of interests do you have? Brenna Robles. Uh, we'll ask you more than once. And we'll I'll tell you an incredible story about how the fact that I rode a horse today and it was really cool and the horse was a big one and its name was Teardrop and it was the best horse ever. And boom, we're friends. Look at this kid. This kid is, ha this is one happy boy. <laughs> he looks like a little deranged. Like he looks like the possessed Sims, but adorable. Okay. Um, I started out so very, but had twins, a boy and a girl. Are they both Rose Jen? I, I tend to say that the first one that you had, so the one that came out first is Rose Jen, but you can do as two as Rose Jen if you wanted to. Who's gonna say? Oh my gosh, this fuzzy baby on camera right now, Remy. Okay, hello. Hello. Can I have this, please? Oh, okay. <laughs> He says, yes, but also I'm gonna tug really hard backwards on your arm. Okay, Bubby. I think we need to take some rest time now. Okay, all done. All done, playtime. Playtime's all done, Remy. He's like, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure that's true. <laughs> uh, the dog is on the side if you're if you're wondering what I'm talking about, if you're on TikTok. But um, you can see the dog on Twitch. I just can't fit all of it on TikTok, so. <laughs> We're celebrating. Okay, we need to find a new friend. Okay, who else is a child that is around here? Okay, we got this. All the children look like superstars around here. Look at them. Look at them. They're all in like a little line with their umbrellas. Look at like the Beatles right now. Okay, Janessa Greenberg. We're already friends with uh, this Destiny Goth. She's our best friend, actually. Apparently, he's only friends with like, there's only little girls to be friend right now, but that's okay. You can have a bunch of girlfriends. I like her, I like Amelia Jang's uh, really cool hair. So let's go do a friendly introduction and be like, I love your hair. It is so cool. Makes me wish I had cool hair like that. Hi, my name is Steven and my mom is a celebrity, um, but you look like a celebrity in those glasses. Do you like horses? Because I love horses. Today I rode on a horse. Um, the horse's name was Teardrop. Uh, and I'm gonna tell you an unbelievable story about how I rode on Teardrop today and I didn't fall off once and it was really exciting. Um, and we're also gonna play make-believe and we're gonna, oh, look at Remy, pussy bubby. Uh, we're also going to talk about the rain because the rain is coming down and we're gonna talk about pop culture and we're gonna talk about toys. Mostly my toys are horses. 
Oh, Julia, oh, Juliet's sad because of the rain. She's like, I don't like it. And also, I'm hungry. So, uh, Julia, why don't you see if your mom will grill you up something or cook you something? I wish the, there was food in here. Is this ours? Is this ours? I don't know whose that is. I hope that it's not ours. Okay, th here we go. We got, why don't mom, why don't you grill some baked potatoes? Honestly, sound pretty good. Am I hungry? I might be hungry. Anyway, we're gonna grill some baked potatoes so that we can feed our daughter who is very hungry right now. Uh, but Steven, meanwhile, is still gonna be talking to Alana. He's gonna, you know, Talk about more toys and shared some detail horse acts. We're so close. We're going to talk, spin some New Year's Eve noisemakers and then share, talk about our siblings. We have a sister, a younger sister. And we're going to talk about school and talk about our favorite animal, which is once again, horses. I love a museum full of all the pictures of the gems. Wait, we did it! Oh, that would be cute. Aspiration achieved. Which means we officially finished the debut gen. For all of you that have been following along, I'm going to list out the requirements of the challenge so that you guys uh, know what all we did to get to this point. All right, so here we go. Taylor Swift, generation one, debut era. So the rules are join the entertainment career, check. Mary did that. Zoom in on Mary here. She's our main character. Uh, she's dealing with some smoke here while she's grilling out. Good mom energy. Um, complete the musical genius aspiration. What's that? Check. It's right over here. Um, start her home budget of 15,000 simoleons. Check. Find love with a fellow musician. Check. We did that. We also kicked him out, but we found love, you know, at, for a time. Have one or two children. We had two children, so check and check. And then the child requirements are have one child with the artistic trait. Um... Juliet has an artistic trait. She's an artistic prodigy, but she also has the trait creative. Um, and Steven, it says, must complete social bunny aspiration for one of our children. And Steven just finished it, which means we officially finished the first gen of our 10 gen challenge. Let's go. Oh, and don't forget to save. Thank you guys so much for reminding me, all of you. I will make sure to save right now. And for first speech, let's take a deep breath together at the end of this first era. Take a deep breath in and let it all out. And Shelby, thank you so much for the stretch. We'll do a stretch. Remy, can you stretch? <laughs> he just was looking straight at the camera like, ha. <laughs> it was the cutest smile. Well, it looks like he's happy. He's happy. Are you happy on camera? You're, you're just such a smiley camera boy. Oh my goodness. Okay. Wow. Thank you. Thank you for bringing fuzzy baby here. Bop, 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 bop. Okay. Um, what's up, Kane? Good to see you. Okay, so we finished this first generation. So now it's time to start our next generation, which is the Fearless Era. So let me read out the rules for the Fearless Era. Generation two. Fearless. <laughs> All right, so rule number one. Okay, so it says fearless. From modest beginnings, we enter the fearless era. The next era embraces love in all its complexities. So the rules are we must complete the serial romantic aspiration. We must experience at least two significant breakups. We, ha we must have three best friends. We must join a social career like social media or entertainment. We must max charisma and comedy skills, and we must have children with your teenage love our child requirements for this gen are possible traits bookworm loner part of me wonders oh no i think these are requirements for our child so it's like part of me wonders if this the child requirements are for her as a child but then the generation before it says have one child with artistic trait so that makes me feel like I don't know. It's not super clear. So I'm going to just assume it's our, our, the next gen after the first gen has to do this. So the child requirements are possible traits. I think bookworm, uh, loner, uh, had a couple, has, has a several different ones listed and the heir must complete creativity aspiration as a child. 
Oh, wait, maybe it is the child requirements are for the generation that you are on. I think they're for the next gen. I thought they were too, but now it says air must complete. Maybe they mean air, the next gen's air must complete creativity aspiration as a child. Cause then the next gen is a writer. So that kind of makes sense too. I'm gonna say that it's the next gen. Cause that's what Erica Noel also thought. And I thought that too. So I think that makes sense. Bookworm screams speak now. So you're so right. Okay. I think you guys are right. So yeah. So that's going to be her, her children. So the speak now era child requirements, but we don't have to get there yet. Right now we're still on her romance, but she's still really a young little old lady here. Um, so we have a bit of time. However, we are on the speed run and she will be aging up uh, on Thursday, it's a short lifespan challenge. So we, we, you know, we can kind of just vibe and chill. Or if you guys want, I can age up all of the, all of the Sims into teens to get this party started a little early. Let me know how you feel. Um, uh, but we can finish her little artistic prodigy stuff before then, just so that she has a little bit of a, uh, a bonus to her charisma and comedy skills. I'm assuming those are creative skills. I'm not quite sure, honestly. Rules are just guidelines anyway. Exactly, Ash Cash. Uh, but yes, I think we'll age up before the end of this episode, but um, but we'll probably finish up a couple little... Hello, Remy. <laughs> oh, he looks... I don't know why. Oh, he licked it. I was like, why does it look so bright? It's smudged. The camera's smudged, Remy. He looked like he was in heaven. He was like a little heavenly, heavenly being. How about now? Okay, yeah, now that looks way better. <laughs> there you go. Did you give the camera kisses? Now you look a little, a little more normal there. There you go. Let me see. All right, there we go. Now you can gaze into the audience. There we go, fix the camera there. Um, all right, so. We are finishing up. It's 8 p.m. Let's hit the let's let's go home with all these friends and then we're going to maybe invite us uh, a certain gentleman caller over to uh, be our New Year's kiss. Um, She also wants to become friends with Drew. Wait, that's so cute. Our fearless era wants to become friends with Drew and Steven wants to become friends with Drew. Aren't you already friends with Drew, though? But OK. And uh, Mary wants to kiss someone. So everyone seems a little taken with our Drew, which is very cute. I love it. Christine, thank you so much for the bits. Cupcake Chaos, thank you so much for the sub. Um, uh, Maggie, thank you so much for cheering the bits. Do I have any advice on someone as starting the 100 baby challenge? I actually have a full video for that. I have all the 100 baby chips that I have in a video on my YouTube channel. So you should definitely check that one out. Um, Christina, 2026, thank you so much for the resub. Happy six months. Appreciate you guys so much. And Gabby, thank you so much for the bear and your first gift on the rose. I love it. Um, oh my gosh. Drew has made a good impression. He seriously has. Okay. Oh, wait. It, uh, 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 excuse me? I'm sorry, he just showed up at our door in the middle of the snow. We were gonna invite you over anyway. I mean, he did come over once and babysat. Oh my gosh, this is so romantic. <gasps> this is so, so romantic. He's just like, hi, I'm here. Um, okay, um, okay. Juliet, go, go eat something. I guess I grilled something and then she didn't eat it. So go get some leftovers, girly girl. Steven, um, maybe go give a little hug to your friend here. Go give him a hug. And then mom kind of be like, wow, wow. Invite him in. Like, oh, hello. So Steven's going to go start the train here. He's going to go give him a hug. Be like, whoa, dude, what are you doing here? This is great. I'm glad you're here. Mary earned 1,183 on her day off. That's awesome. Good job, Mary. Mary, welcome to invited him in. She said, come on in. And Steven's having a little chat with him. And then I feel like Steven, you should go inside as well so that Mary can kind of get to know. Share him a secret, be like, you know, I always had a crush on you when I was in high school. Oh, that was Remy. I was like, what is that noise? It's Remy barking. Uh, oh, hey, uh, Ladrian M. 
Karina ruined my streak. Oh no, that's no worries. Happy 45 months. That's flipping amazing. Uh, you can start the streak again. Maybe you can make it the whole year. So she told him a little, a little secret, and uh, maybe we, you know, kind of ask him if he's single. Uh, the kids are inside doing kid things. Juliet's tired, so she might go to bed soon. She's like, I don't care about. Mom, wake me up when there's stuff to do. Although she has, she needs to like make a resolution and stuff. So we'll, we'll wake her up in a bit. Maybe you should nap instead. So that way you'll like automatically wake up in a minute. Oh my God. Oh wow. She just kissed his hands. They're, they're doing this all on their own. Steven, are you watching the countdown? He's watching the countdown by himself. That's cute. All right, let's watch with him. Okay, let's like make a little group. I want to make them into a group so that they all do the same things. Form group. Perfect, okay. Let's all, because it's 10, so we should start kind of watching the New Year's Eve TV together. So here we go. Steven's here. He's playing with the future cube. We're watching the New Year's Eve TV. Juliet, why don't you come out and also kind of watch... Why don't you make your resolution? I think her resolution will be to raise this, to complete an aspiration milestone. That's gonna be her requirement before she can become a teen. And then we're gonna throw some confetti because we wanna get to know Drew debut. Um, very exciting. My fearless Jen is so insufferable. She nearly died. Oh my God, no, <laughs> this is so dramatic. I love it. Share your resolution with him. Oh my gosh, he's feeling flirty. Wow. Okay, man. Okay. Talk about art with him. Okay. This is so fun. We can tell him a make-believe story. She's like inventing a little story. She's gonna be like an influencer, I feel like. She's got that vibe to her, maybe. You look lovely today. Oh, thank you. My fearless Jen is so insufferable. Oh, I wrote that one already. What's up, Kate? Hi! Just uploaded a possible teen love interest to your gallery for Juliet. Thank you, thank you, thank you! Oh my gosh, okay. It's 11, so everyone's getting up, ready to watch the New Year's Eve stuff. Let's go. She really wants to sleep. Girl, you gotta see what's happening, okay? You gotta watch the show. Okay, brag about her small home. Be like, my small home is so cool. And I love it. Uh, sing about New Year's Eve. We're trying to get her to like, be excited about it, I think. So we're gonna do all the New Year's Eve thingies that she's required to do. There we go. Now she's leveled up her social skill too. Okay, are we all counting down? Okay, we're counting down right now. Shashubi. I don't want you to miss out. There we go. They're all counting down now. Yay, it's New Year's. Yes, Shashubi. Okay, 40, 40, okay, 51, 50, okay. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Happy New Year! Oh my gosh, and now we get to do our kiss. Hold on. We're gonna, wait, we're first gonna give, can we give a family kiss to our kids? And then we'll do like a, let's do a little family kiss to both of our kids. We're gonna give our kids kisses and then we're gonna be, and we're, he's gonna be like, what about me? No, he's not. That would be so annoying. He would not say, <laughs> but it's gonna be that vibe where she's gonna go over to him and be like, well. <laughs> so she, she hugged her son. Wait. Okay, they, they gave double hug. I want the kiss. I want the kiss bit to happen. Sims, I set it up perfectly. Give him a little family kiss and then give your daughter a family kiss. Okay, well that one got glitched, so that's great. That's fine. Go give your daughter, I guess, a family kiss too. Okay, go give your daughter a family kiss and then you're gonna give, hello, why aren't the Sims listening to me? I'm trying to do a whole bit here, okay? I'm like a, I'm, I'm the, Puppet master, just be my puppet for like a second, Mary. Gosh. Give your daughter a kiss. It's New Year's. 
There we go. That's all I needed. Okay, now you get to go to Drew and be like, well. First kiss. Ah! Okay, girl, go, go, go. Bra Mary, Mary, here we go. Mary, here we go. Here they go. <laughs> and Juliet's like, ew! Juliet, you're gonna be kissing on everyone soon. Don't you worry about it. Oh, so romantic! Oh my gosh, she got that first kiss that she always wanted. Juliet's going off to bed. I think both of the kids should go to bed and maybe Mary and uh, Drew debut should like, you know, she should be like, you should stay the night. It's so stormy outside. You know, like it would be unsafe for you to go home. Oh no, you just tuned in. What's up Magnolia Tink? I'm, lo I'm glad that you're loving this challenge. I'm really enjoying it. Oh, let's confess our attraction to him. Okay, no, she's going to bed. She's like, okay, well, good night. He's, oh, he's sleeping on the couch. What a gentleman. Oh, I love it. I love it. Let's go make him breakfast in the morning. Everybody's New Year's Eve were successful. High five. Good job, me. Okay, wait, we're back to it. Okay. Okay, everybody. Oh, he's up. Maybe she should be up. She should be like, oh, I couldn't sleep. They can woohoo. I mean. Let's go woohoo them. <laughs> She's gonna be like, I couldn't sleep. I was thinking about you. I think you should just come to bed with me. Oh, yes, enough. What if Drew makes breakfast to thank you? Oh my gosh, he should. But uh, they're gonna have uh, a bit of uh, adult time, I think. <laughs> Debut is getting her second second try here. I love love this for them. Um, she was enchanted to meet him. She really was enchanted to meet him. <laughs> Hopeful Ninja asked me to save. I will do a save quickly. You can ask, also request saves um, using your channel points. Ooh, almost dropped my headphones. Uh, Cozy Deer, thank you so much for requesting a deep breath together. Let's take a deep breath in. Hold it for a second and let it out. I felt good. Uh, he should totally make breakfast. All of you, I agree with that. He should totally make breakfast. Okay. Well, oh, she's eating pancakes, girl. She wants to take a cold shower. <laughs> she's like, woo! And then I think you should go back to sleep. Next to the, the, the mail that you invited over. <laughs> she's gonna go to sleep and then in the morning they're all gonna have breakfast, I think. I'm going to put these away because it's not Christmas anymore. And I feel like, you know, they left the Christmas lights up till January. We'll just say that, you know? Uh, what else? Oh no, we need to leave this out though so we can take down the Christmas decor. I need that to happen. We don't really need these anymore. We'll put those away for now. The, the cat stuff makes me sad, but I think it's good to kind of clean up everything a little. Uh, other than that, I think we're good. We continue. Waiting on them to wake up. Who's gonna wake up first? I don't know. It's 1.30 a.m. I should sleep. Yeah, you should, Rebecca. Oh my gosh. Hi, uh, Anuam. How are you doing? Okay. Okay, Steven's up first and he's hungry. So he's gonna go get some taco salad for breakfast. Honestly, ta breakfast tacos are so good. I would not, not taco salad, taco casserole. I'm like breakfast taco casserole sounds like a jam, honestly. Sounds pretty good. Love that for us. Oh, he wants to care for a horse. Oh, look who's back. Hi, honey. Hi, buddy. How are you doing? Someone visiting us? You're visiting me more than Chewy is. Oh my gosh, Chewy hasn't visited us once since the, we first hung out with him. Remy is in the zone, giving some patch. Oh, good job, Remy. Okay, Steven, where are you going? Is he going to go clean up his little sister's mess outside? Oh my gosh, he is. What a little gentleman. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Can I just turn off the decorations? Like, why aren't they not? I can't take down these decorations. I'm so annoyed by them. If you guys know how to fix that, let me know. That feels like a bug, but he's cleaning up everything. Oh, so cute. 
so sweet. What a sweet boy Steven is. Such a good kid. I think it needs to be an adult. Oh, does it? Yes, it does. Oh my gosh, thank you. I had no idea. Oh, that is so helpful. I was stressing. Okay, he's cleaning up. Ooh, someone's calling. I heard you became friends with Drew debut. He's pretty cool. Oh no, the tabloids might be figuring us out. Don't make a mess after you just cleaned it. Kid. He's like, I make a mess so mom mom doesn't know we made more mess. No, just kidding. I'm cleaning up. No. <laughs> what a silly kid. Okay, why don't you do your homework once you're done with everything? Go inside. Do some homework. Oh, little sister's up. Juliet R. Our little queen. Okay, we need to get through her artistic prodigy requirements. She's at level two of three. She needs to play instrument for five hours. Well, perfect. Can we, we play piano? Yes. She's going to play piano. Like her mom. She's going to be a little pianist. Perfect. We'll have her play. And then we need to draw all five pictures on the activity table and reach a level 10 of creativity skill. Luckily for us, we're already level six. So we're already halfway there. More than halfway. Beautiful. How was your new, new year? Mine was really fun. I had a really great time. Good start to the new year. I love how mom and uh, maybe boyfriend, I feel like we should ask him to be our boyfriend when uh, we wake up together this morning, uh, are um, sleeping in and the kids are being super responsible. <laughs> it's so cute. Okay, she's gotten one hour out of five for this. And Steven is almost done with his homework. Good job, Steven. What a good kid. How was your guys' New Year? Watching from Denmark. How cool, Nari. I love that. Uh, typical Sims. Seriously, typical Sims. How, uh, my Christmas and New Year's were really fun, Mia Gunn. Thanks for asking. Also, I did not mean to rhyme. <gasps> Wait, he's leaving. He's leaving while I'm asleep? Bro, no, you're not. No, you're not. We're going to ask you to be our boyfriend first. Hey, before you go. It's romantic. She's like running after him in the rain. Like, wait, wait. I want to ask you something. In the rain. Oh my gosh. She needs to pee too. Will you? And she's scared of the storm. Girl, don't. Don't. Don't be scared of the storm. You gotta be fearless, okay? I know it's not your gen, but. You gotta kiss in the pouring rain, okay? Get. Ask this man to be your boyfriend. Quick. He said yes! Yay! Okay, now they got a, her her resolution's complete. And then I think they should kiss in the rain. Affection. Or wait, physical intimacy. Kiss in the rain. They're gonna kiss in the rain! Such a Taylor Swift song! Wait. I wanted to kiss in the rain. It glitched again. Here we go. Kiss in the rain. Kiss in the rain. Yes! So romantic! Drop everything now. Meet me in the pouring rain. The hits don't stop hitting, you know what I mean? Okay. Well, I'm gonna let you guys, uh, you know, hang out. We're gonna hang out with our son. Just chilling. Finish his homework like a good kid. No, he did not finish his homework. Why didn't you finish your homework? It says 75% done, and yet it won't let me click on it to finish, so. Interesting. Well, he's cleaning up around the house, so he's being a good kid. Juliet's still playing music. Why don't you take a break? You've played for two hours. Take a break, take a little, little toilet break. Back at it, okay? Back to it. Mary is still chatting with him. Weston Wood said, did you really let your number leak onto the net? Ha ha, just another dumb celeb. We literally went on a date with you, Weston Woods. I cannot believe you're showing your true goal. Okay, bye. Are you coming in with us? He's coming back in. He's like, well, now I can't leave. But they both need to be. Mm. Well, she's making a nice little salad for the fam. And Juliet's still playing music. Oh my gosh, look at them. This is so cute. She is quite, quite, uh, she needs to resume the ceviche and chips here. Is that what she's making? What's she making? Ceviche and chips. I didn't know you could make it with chips. That's so good. 
Oh, and then we could mentor our daughter about that too, actually, once we're all done with everything here. She made her food. She does, oh God, that looked really gross. Don't eat that. That looks bad. Don't eat that. Ew. Yeah, you need to use fresh chips for that, girl. Don't, don't do this. Don't do this, okay? Why don't you grab just a leftover, okay? You tried with that ceviche and chips to be fancy girl, and you, you, you tried your best and you did not succeed. Not whatsoever. Okay. So she's gonna eat her food. Maybe like after she eats, she'll help mentor her daughter. Juliet Rich, piano level three. Good job, Juliet. Look at her go. She's at four out of five hours for her instrument playing. <gasps> Ryder wants to come over and hang out with his daughter. She didn't try for a baby, so she shouldn't be pregnant, but I actually don't know. Uh, our ex-husband wants to come over. Yeah, you can come over. I love the drama! I want the drama! He wants to hang out with his kids on New Year Day. I don't, I don't blame him. Look at this man. This is a beautiful man taking out our trash. <gasps> he just walked by our ex. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, dad, wow. Oh, try to console him. Be like, dad, why are you here? Why are you so sad? Dad's scared for some reason. So we're like, hey dad, are you okay? I'm gonna pretend that he's upset about Drew and not about the storm. Okay. That didn't go well. He just screamed a lot. Okay. Spread fake spoilers. That's funny. Talk about siblings. He's gonna just chat with his dad. Mary's gonna be kind of mad that he's here, I think. We're gonna maybe give Drew some revisions keys to be like, you can come over whenever. And then she's gonna get in a fight with him. <laughs> she's gonna argue argue about parenting be like why are you here and he's like i'm their dad i can be here and she's like no this is my house and i invite you who are you, are you were you flirting just now what, what just happened well juliet finished her five hours of piano so good job juliet why don't you work on um cleaning up and doing some more art over here while your parents deal with everything that's going on okay he's like yeah i'm gonna go Drew, I don't blame you whatsoever. Jay Harris, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Wolves, uh, DRXXM, Aaron, and dot to hot Thank you guys so much. The score, scored average, thank you so much for the sub. Kane, thank you so much for all the roses. Oh my gosh. Thank you for so many roses on TikTok. And Mia Gunn, thank you for the rose. Um, Bowie, yeah, that's me. I voice Bowie. Uh, thank you for noticing. Love talking about box. Okay, yeah, they're arguing. Of course they are. Mock his facial hair. Be like, blah, blah, blah. So they're in a fight, but Steven's having a good time. His sister's having a good time. Uh, we're going to start with an animal that she's going to draw first. Juliet's so cute. Oh, she likes jokes. That's cute. Mary, oh my gosh, is chatting with him. They're not having a good time. Goo, yeah. They've got a betrayed by cheating bitter sentiments she's still bitter about it yeah they're just arguing <laughs> or joking what did, what did you just do chat they're just chatting and he's taking a photo of her okay probably because she's a celebrity she probably didn't like it he's a notable newcomer but she's a b-lister so she's a lot ahead of him in terms of celebrity we were supposed to have more paint fame points, but we just never got any for some Play reason. Bar, Sam, so oh, can we submit more of our... Yes, let's license more songs. Let's do... license teardrops. Yes. And then we should also get our mail. Hopefully she... Nothing bad happens to her. I don't want to jinx that. I feel like I might have just done. Mary. Okay, good. She just licensed her song to MPR's morning news show. Ooh, look for royalty payments soon. Fabulous. Okay. Why don't you, oh my gosh. Why don't you kick him out? You should just kick this man out of your house. Be like, no, go away. Go away, get out of the house. Juliet's finishing up her creativity skills. She's almost at level nine here. She's only, Look, our mom's still with us. Steven's here. Oh, and our dad left. 
Steven's like, wait, Dad, I was coming out to hang with you. But he's going to watch TV now, so bye, Dad. Kish drew in front of him. Oh, my gosh. We should have done that. We should have done that. Call Coming for his beard is cold. You know what? I wanted to be savage. I'm a savage, you know? Oh, Drew's calling. Hey, Mary, I've been thinking of getting a new job. What do you think? You should follow your heart. I think you should do it. But I called you so I didn't have to decide myself. Oh my gosh, I thought I was saying you should do it. I'm sorry. I meant to call, I meant to decide for you. I don't know what job he was planning to get though, but that's so cute. All right, so we've got one of five. Who's this outside? Oh my God, he's trying to clean up for us. Writer, uh, we're feeling very flirty. It's probably cause uh, Drew just called us and she's like, yeah, I love Drew so much. He's the best. He's my absolute favorite person, and I wish that Reuter would just get out. But I can't make him leave all the time because his children are my children, and I can't. I, the kids deserve to know their father a little, I guess. But I do want to kick him out. I'm glad I can catch you live here. Nice, me too, dudes. What's up, Bexy? Thanks for the join. Uh, what's up, Bruni or Brownie? My debut Jen's ex was all over the time, all over all the time after they divorced. The audacity. Oh my gosh, same. Same. He's over all the time. Look at him. Look at him coming back in the house after I told him distinctly to get out. I don't care that you're cleaning for me. No. Oh my gosh. Whatever. I can let him clean. It's fine. I'm going to go check on my daughter who's doing a great job. She's doing amazing. She's almost to level 10. She's like really working hard. Her skills are going up so well. Writer's like, okay, I should be going. Bye. Bye. Get out of the house. Get out. Get out of here. All right, we've done two of our drawings. Now she's sitting on her little bed talking with her mom. This is so cute. I think her seeing like her mom's ex-husband and like the new boyfriend and might impress her to like be like, oh, I love love. Like I love talking about this. I read about you in the news every day, Ms. Eras, and I try to live my life just like you. Aww, now we're feeling inspired because our fan was inspired. That's so cute. Why don't you jazz up the place with some music, some tunes? Juliet, why don't you make another, let's do people this time on your activity table here. There she goes. She's on fire right now. She's so confident. I love it. Steven's just kind of enjoying himself, watching some TV, hanging. Oh, he's getting a shower. Mary was like having fun playing the piano. She's level 10, right? She's level 10 at the piano. Maybe we should do guitar instead then. We'll, we'll pull this in here and we'll um, some, sing some songs so she can work on her guitar and her voice. So good. She's going to be leveled up really soon at work too. So I'm excited for that. Juliet finished her next one. Clean up. Okay, we only have two more of these draw shapes and then we'll be able to age her up into a teen. The house is so cute. Thank you. Hey, Bexy, how are you doing? Invite Drew over. Mm, I mean, we could. Is that what you guys want? You're just like, we just want Drew all the time. Mary and Drew need to go on another date. That's so true. She reached level 10 of creativity. Good job, girl. Look at how cute she is. She's like, getting her singing and her guitar up here. She's less good at, she's like least good at singing. She's best at piano. She's second best at guitar. But she's almost to level six of singing. Good job, girl. Oh no, Juliet's scared of the storm still. Okay, we have one more activity table. Let's go. Let's draw a vehicle now this time, girl. Let's draw that vehicle. I'm proud of you. We're gonna finish up right here. Is anyone gonna create a redhead named Abigail for Juliet to befriend? Oh my gosh, you should do that. And put her on the gallery using hashtag Kelsey Eras challenge or hashtag Kelsey Eras. Both of those would be good. How is she aging up before her brother? She won't be. I'll age them up both. Um, both of them. So they'll both be teens around the same time. 
But we're just doing it to speed up the challenge a little bit so we can get into the drama of the next gen. Because this is a this is a short lifespan challenge. Like we want things to be going. Move in and groove in. Ba ba ba. They are Irish twins. They are. They're Irish twins. Exactly. Mom was pretty quick on the draw there. Mom and son are talking. Oh, this family is so cute. I love them. They're so cute. Ugh, oh, I love it. She didn't have work today. She has work tomorrow. Oh, Juliet's aspiration completed. Good job, Juliet. Oh my goodness, her resolution is complete too. Good job, Juliet. She finished it. Okay, so Steven and her are both um c students but it's time for them to age up into teens what do you guys think should we do it should we do it what are the rules for this challenge it's a 10 generation challenge where each generation is themed after a different taylor swift era uh have you added drew to the gallery please and thank you i did not add drew to the gallery he's kind of like a randomized sim i didn't do too much with it but okay it's time to age them up okay great I'm glad you guys are ready for it. I'm ready for it. It's Sunday at 11 p.m. though. Should we do it tomorrow? Nah, open it up. All right, blow out the candle. Wait, no, our brother gets to blow out the candles first because he's older. Come on, Steven, it's your time. It's time to be a teen, Steven. I'm excited to see what teen Steven looks like. He had a like hat, a backwards baseball cat as a kid. So I think I might give him that again, but I like his like blonde shaggy hair, so cute. All right, here we go, Steven. Oh, look at him walking out so confident. He's such a cutie patootie. Ah! What era? We are currently in our Evermore era. Or not Evermore, oh my gosh. Our, our debut era, and we're aging up our fearless era, which is the next era. Okay, Steven aged up. Okay, what are his traits? I feel like he is super friendly. Is there like, is there one of those? Like really social? Party animal. Outgoing. I think he's really outgoing. What is his aspiration? I feel like he, a jockey makes the most sense, right? Wait, it's under athletic, right? Yeah, I think he'd want to be a jockey. Champion rider and outgoing. But he's also a goofball. That's true. He is a goofball. Yes, if you do makeovers for them too. Um, Yes, of course we're doing makeovers for them. Of course. Mostly it's teardrop. Yeah, this is true. Tear up. I think he should could would be a heartthrob. Swifties Media, you're so right. He would be a heartthrob. He's such a cutie. All right, I think I'm gonna go with this, but he's also a goofball, so keep that in mind for when he becomes like an adult. Okay, here he is. Oh my gosh, not it, fam. This is not it. Okay, nobody move. Okay, everybody's busy. Great, Steven, go in there, fix the candles here, so your sister can age up. All right, sister's time. Younger sister, Juliet, let's go. It's time for you to become your heir, the new heir of the challenge. Yay! Happy birthday. Save him, Kelsey, don't worry. Don't worry, it, it's, gonna, it's gonna be better, guys. It's gonna be better. It's gonna be better. Okay, Juliet aged up. Okay, what is Juliet's vibe here? Let me, let me find this. Okay. Complete the serial romantic aspiration. So we need the serial romantic aspiration. Love. Not soulmate, not soulmate. Serial romance. Okay. Have three best friends during a social career. Max charisma and comedy. Charisma and comedy. So I think she should be like self-assured. Wait, where is she? Where's the self-assured one? Like confident. I thought there was like a comp, there it is, self-assured. Why I went by it like five times. I literally did Swifties Media. How did I do that? What's up little dreamt witch? Uh, hi, sorry you're late, no worries. I passed it, I know. Ash Cash, thank you so much for the What's gift. Sound? A wild Oprah team. Let's go. Okay. Self-assured. Boom. Oh, wow. She's also kind of off here. That's okay. 
Ryder sent Juliet and his son a gift. Okay, now we gotta do some testing cheats on. Kaz, full edit, Mo's face on, perfect. And now we can go into modify our household and give them makeovers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're in their experimental they're phases. No, they're not. They're gonna be having cute phases. Oh, wow. Yeah, no. <gasps> but the freckles all over its face is cute. Also, he's got great bone structure. Look at this handsome, handsome Sim. Okay, so I like, I kind of like the medium, like kind of shaggy hair that he had going for him as a kid. So we're gonna kind of keep that going. Let's see which one. This one might work. It's giving teen boy. This one's good too. That one's a little extra long for me. Hmm. Oh, here we go. That one's perfect. Okay. And then we're going to do a little backwards cap on him. Okay. Sorry. I got like a nose itch. Ah, okay. All right. Perfect. Okay. And then we'll do like this backwards baseball cap. Yo. Yes. I, I guess we'll do like gold since it's kind of the fearless era. Oh, the gold one is kind of cool, actually. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. I thought there was another one that didn't sit like that quite the same. There's this one also. Nah, this one's way, way better. Yeah, okay. You should try a beanie. I could try a beanie. I like this though. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna stick with this. Cause I like it. He had this as a little, little boy and I thought it was so cute. He had a white one, I think as a little boy. Are they twins? They're not technically, I just got impatient. Okay, so listen, all right. Okay, maybe we'll do like, the, okay. I want his eyes to be like the bright blue, but I want them to be like these realistic ones. Okay, perfect. Okay, and then we'll do some skin details. I feel like he has got skin details already on, but it's like an aged one for some reason. Yeah, that's so random, but I like I like his skin. Give him some little lashes. No, wait, go back. I like his little his little freckles. Okay, are there other lashes? Hold on. There's only two sets of lashes. Okay, we'll do maybe this. Yeah, that's fine. He's so cute. Can we do like a little bit darker for the brow? Okay, no, we're gonna match the hair. <laughs> that did not look better. Um, That looks good though. So cute. He does look like a heartbreaker. He's so, so cute. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm not feeling the baseball cap. I think you may, might be right on the money with the beanie. I thought this would be so cool though. I don't know why it's not looking quite as well as I wanted it to look. Like the forward baseball cap's cute sometimes. I don't know. Let's do the beanie though. One of you said beanie and I think you might be right. I was really excited about the baseball cap. I was so excited. But it's just not looking as good as I think the beanie will look. Okay, well not that one. That one, not, not at all. Okay, no, that beanie also is looking weird to me. But he's always been wearing hats. He's always been a hat boy. I mean, that one's okay. I don't like it. Okay, maybe he's hatless. Maybe it's the hair. It could be the hair. We could do cowboy hat, but I think he's fine as is. Mm -hmm. So let's do a nice, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's do a fun little jacket because I like his, him having a jacket. And let's do a gold huh. one. Because we're in the fearless era. So he's going to have like kind of a gold jacket kind of vibe. I'm thinking something like that. Or like this one could work actually because he kind of loves horses and everything. So that works. And then we'll do some sort of jeans. He's not like the, the heir. So I kind of let, I kind of play more with like, what he wears like i don't kind of care as much that he wears like a lot more blue and things like that you know what i mean and he's gonna wear cowboy boots because obviously he'll wear kind of gold looking ones maybe 
or brown, I guess. Maybe brown to match the belt. There you have it. There's Steven. Oh, you can't hear me? You can hear me? Okay. Wild. The beanie is so cute. I lost the game. No! Oh my gosh. What is this fit here for you, my child? Okay. Hmm. Let's do another yellow. I wonder if there's a good yellow suit that he could wear. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool. That one's okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, no. Let's not do any of those things. Let's do kind of like a button, like a nicer button down. Kind of, oh, yeah. This is, yeah, that's the look right there. And then we'll do, can we, is, is there matching pants? That's almost matching. Ooh. This one looks nice. I bet it'd look good with the white or like with a huh. tan maybe. Yes, maybe. This one's better though. I like this one better. I bet he, you know, honestly, I bet he'd be the type to wear jeans to a formal event. Like he would wear jeans. Ooh. He's a little country boy. Like, of course he's gonna wear his little cowboy jeans. <laughs> yeah, this is his formal wear. This is as formal as he gets. <laughs> I love it. Uh, okay, next, athletic. Boy, stop it with the makeup. The cruiser, the cruiser. Okay, athletic wear. Maybe... Mm. No. I don't want him in like a jacket kind of thing. Ooh. Or like a hoodie. Oh no, not that one. Mm. Mm. This one's my custom content. It looks so good. Um, I don't know. I feel like he could be the type that just doesn't wear a shirt for his athletic wear. You know what I mean? Or some kind of gold <laughs> pants or something. Call it a day. Colors. Yellow. I want to see all the different yellow pant options. It would be like a sweat pant or like a long short kind of vibe. There you go. And we just get some kind of matching shoes and there we have it. Athleisure for a teen boy. Sleepwear. Okay. None of this, please. Thank you. Okay. And then no, no bracelets. Thank you very much. Okay. Sleep where I think he could wear kind of just this kind of vibe and then maybe these pants, like some cozy pajama pants. Uh, like maybe not those. Mm. Really, there aren't any like cozy yellow pajama pants. I guess that's fine. Do something like this. Perfect. Uh, party wear. That's a that's a party look right there, my friend. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. mm, I feel like this kind of look could be cute. Do I like it? Watch you make a mess. Oh Let me see. What other things would look cool if you went to a party? This is kind of cool. It's definitely giving fearless. Petition for a cute makeup look. That's just not his vibe. Let him wear his makeup. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is not the vibe. I've let plenty of Sims wear makeup. Watch my other challenges. I always feel the auto-generated party wear is always a jump scare. It is always spooky. He's always all over the place. Oh, wow. I got some, got some barkies outside here. Okay. So cute. So fearless. I love it. For the sports look, would he still wear a beanie to keep his hair out of his face? I've seen people do that while working out. Oh, maybe. But I kind of, you know, that romantic, like, push your hair back kind of thing. I don't know. I feel like he, you know, doesn't do it. Okay, where? Oh, it's a little short. It's a little, okay, that works for me. Those all look good. Makeup. It's got like a Queen Amidala kind of look. I like this hot wear, hot weather look, though. It's cute. No notes. Okay, and then the cold weather look. I like this like hoodie kind of vibe. I wonder if there's a good kind of yellow version of it. 
they like kind of a gold version mm. or like just a version that's not whatever that was. Okay, this looks cute. Actually, this is cute on him. So I'm gonna let him wear that. Even though I really liked the gold theme, I think this is cute. So we'll do this. Oh, what boots you have, sir? Let me do some the cowboy boots. Ooh. Maybe the, the dark brown ones that he normally wears. He's cute! Um, oh, sorry about the adjusting Chewy cam. I'm gonna have to return that to you because he's not in the room. He's hanging out somewhere else, unfortunately. So I, I would adjust it if he was here. There's no dogs currently in the room at the moment here. I can show you. That is a, that is a stuffed animal. <laughs> but you can look at the stuffed animal and pretend. Um, he's such a cute sim. Thank you. I think he's pretty cute. I think he turned out great. Look at our boy. He aged up. Oh, I'm proud of him. Okay, now Juliet, our heir, our sweetie pie. She's looking cute. Okay. Okay, brow. She's definitely got like a big old arched brow. Um, and she already has lashes on. Okay, girl, go off. I'm going to quickly remove your EA Alice's because I do not like them. And I'm going to give you some new ones. We'll give you kind of cute, subtle ones. And then maybe give her like, I don't know, like a little floor. We could give her, someone said something about dimples. I think it'd be cute if she had dimples. Does she have any other facial markings? That's from like that you guys can think of. I don't think she did. Let me think. Where are the dimples? There they are. Aw, what if we just, is there just a one dimple kind of thing? I think it's, I think it's all or nothing here with the dimples. Mm, I don't know how I feel about the dimples on her. I feel like it's cute. She does have her hearing aid, so we will, ret we will put that back on. So thank you for reminding me. Um, I don't love the dimples. I think I like the floor. I think she's so pretty with that. I think I'm gonna keep it there. We're gonna put her her medical wearable back on. Here we go. Wait, it's under accessories. She had a pink one growing up. I think I like that. So we're gonna keep that. She has her pink one. And then for her hair, we'll do kind of like a long, we did do curly kind of last time but like a romantic curly, like princess kind of vibe. So that's what we're gonna go for her. She's gonna be very princessy looking um, because she, of course, oh, this one's perfect for Juliet. This is so good. Okay, I love, love, love this. Mwah. She's a cutie patootie. Does she have a hearing device? She looks like her mom, so cute. She does kind of look like her mom, doesn't she? Look at her mom. That's her mom and that's her. She doesn't necessarily look that much younger than her mom. So maybe I'll add some like, I don't know, fine lines onto our girl's face. Cause like girl, she looks so young. Okay, let's see if I can add any. There we go. Get a little, some forehead. Uh, she's a little older. Okay, we got her medical wearable. Maybe we can do like a cute little makeup look for Juliet. Oh, she's so cute. Maybe like a little glossy lip moment. Nothing like intense because she's very young still. She just aged up, obviously. I wish I could just copy paste, gosh. And then accessories, she could have like little like earrings. Oh no! She can't have earrings with the medical wearable. Okay, well, then she doesn't have earrings. She's so cute! Mary skin care routine on point. Yeah, I know. She's just looking perfect as always. Okay. So, so let's... Oh my gosh. My brother's calling me for book club. <laughs> Hello? No. How do I turn it off? I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> it's time for a book club. Bro, I got like another few minutes. Give me a sec. <laughs> Give me a second. I got to finish my outfit. We'll do maybe the rest of her outfits in the next one. Oh my gosh, my, my brother calling me. So embarrassing. Oh, 
That one's pretty cute for a little fearless moment. I feel like we got to go more like gold. We got to go super gold or super princess, I think, with it. That one's pretty princessy, but not princessy enough. This one's cute, but it's giving more 1989. Hmm. That one's really cute, too. That one's what her mom wears. <laughs> Uh, hmm. This is hard to choose. This one's definitely gold, fearless gold, but I think she's a little young for that. Maybe she'll wear that when she's older. Okay. But I definitely love the sparkles on it. Um, hmm. Oh, this one's cute. Not for her, but like very cute. <laughs> Way too much and <gasps> this one's like gold sparkles oh this is definitely gonna be one of her outfits like for her prom or whatever that'll be so cute that's so something she'd wear to prom oh maybe this this one's giving giving for me this is give is her posture really terrible or is it just yeah it was pretty bad i'll leave it because she's a high schooler but i was like <laughs> oh my god imagine speak now hold on like come on come on i mean it also looks good in the gold though like hello but that won't be her every day okay we can't do that maybe we do something like this there we go think that works i don't know i'm trying to figure i'm trying to figure out what makes the most sense for fearless well gold boom gold moment i think this one's okay she's in high school so maybe we just go something pretty simple oops let's get her nails done though i kind of want her nails to be done colors obviously yellow we want some gold nails here perfect and then we'll do some gold, like, tennis shoes kind of thing. Some, like, gold sneakers. Or we do boots. We could do cowgirl boots still. Like, the white ones that she had as a kid. Wait, where are they? Oh, wait. These are so cute. These are custom content. <gasps> Look at those! They're so cute! I don't know if it quite matches the fit, but I kind of don't care. So cute. Yes, boots. I love them. This is great. I love it. So this is Juliet all grown up. Oh, wait, this the medical wearables are in both ears. And normally normally they're just in the one. Let me fix that. She's normal. She normally just has it in the, the left ear here or the right ear. Perfect. Okay. Uh, okay, so this is the Julie at our air and going to be up with the next The next air of the challenge will start her Jed officially next episode And this is her older brother Steven. They're going off to high school, baby I'm so excited to play with this next gen. So this is the end of Ooh. our debut era So the end of Mary's story, but not really because you know, she'll still be there. She's still she's got a new boyfriend anything can happen i hope you guys enjoyed this stream i had so much fun hanging out with you guys um we will be uh tuning in again on sunday i stream every week on tuesday thursdays and sundays so i will see you guys on sunday have a really good one Aww. bye